Today, we're going to show you how to remove the Bafang BBSO2 motor. This process will also apply to the Bafang BBSHD. When working with the motor, it is very important to remove the battery, then use the bike's power button to purge the leftover energy stored in the system. Here are the tools that you will need for the job. A 15mm wrench, a crank puller, a Phillips screwdriver, an 8mm, 5mm, 4mm and 2.5mm hex key, a pair of side cutters, and a Bafang motor wrench or motor sockets with a breaker bar. Links to all the tools needed are in the video's description. The first step is to remove the crank arms. Use the 8mm hex key to loosen the crank bolt. With the bolt removed, use the crank puller to push the crank arm off the spindle. Be careful not to cross-thread the puller while tightening it in the arm. Once inserted, tighten the extractor end of the puller with the 15mm wrench until the crank arm is removed. This can be repeated on the other side. Next, use the 2.5mm hex key to remove the motor cover. Some bikes may use a different type of screw here, so check what your bike has before beginning. Now, we can remove the lock rings that secure the motor in the frame. This step can be completed with the motor sockets or a double-sided Bafang motor wrench. Remove the outer lock ring with the 16 tooth socket. Then, remove the inner lock ring with the 4 tooth socket. The inner lock ring can be very tight, so take it slow. With the lock rings removed, the motor mount can be taken off as well. Use the 5mm hex key to remove the two bolts. The next step is to remove the chain ring. This step can vary bike to bike, but the process is usually similar to this. On the Stunner X, you will use the 4mm hex key to remove the chain ring. Loosely slide the crank arm onto the non-drive side spindle and hold it to stop the chain ring from rotating while you loosen the bolts. Now, remove the drive side motor cover. Your bike may have wires zip tied under the motor casing. You can snip the ties with the side cutters. With the zip ties cut, the speed sensor can be unplugged. Unscrew the weatherproof connector and unplug the sensor. The other motor connectors can be unplugged as well. If the connector is very tight, pressure can be applied sideways to slowly work the connector apart. On the Stunner X, the power wires for the motor are located in the frame under the battery mount. If that's the case with your bike, you'll need to follow these steps. Otherwise, you can skip ahead to removing the motor. The upper battery mount is secured with three Phillips screws. Once these are removed, the power wires can be unplugged. To make it easy to reinstall the power wire, we recommend that you pull a guide cable through the frame by securely taping it to the power wire. With the guide cable attached, pull the power wire through the frame. Pulling from the bottom while pushing the guide cable from the top is the easiest way to do this. If there's any resistance, 
try to work it free carefully and don't force the plug through the frame. Now the motor is free and can slide out of the motor casing. The motor is heavy, so be careful not to drop it. Now the motor can be reinstalled. Slide the motor into the frame and reconnect all of the plugs. The power wire can be fed through the frame using the guide cable that we set up earlier. Pull the cable from the top and push from the bottom. With the power cable plugged in, install the battery and test the motor by turning the bike on and briefly pushing the throttle. Now, the motor mount can be reinstalled. Be aware that the mount is directional. The protruding teeth should face towards the bike frame. Make these bolts snug, but not too tight, as the inner lock ring does most of the work to secure the motor. The next step is to reinstall the chainring and drive side crank arm. Be sure to tighten the crank bolts in a star pattern. Use the four tooth motor socket to install the inner lock ring. This ring does the majority of the work to secure the motor, so make sure it's very tight. Bafang rates this ring to 50 to 60 newton meters of torque. The outer lock ring can now be installed with the 16 tooth socket. This is mainly a protective dust cover, so it does not have to be as tight as the inner ring. Bafang's torque spec is 25 to 30 newton meters. The final steps are to install the non-drive side motor cover and crank arm. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please email us at support at biketricks.com or comment on the video. Subscribe for more videos and tutorials.